Hi everyone, welcome to our cancer reading for January 2020. Um, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, or Rising. Uh, those intuitively guided to the channel, you may not know if you have cancer in your chart. Um, you may be checking in on a cancer. Um, if that's the case, remember, chances are you will receive messages also. It's like your spirit guides know that you're here. <laughs> so they're going to take whatever opportunity they can. Um, to reach you, right? To help you, really. Uh, so just leave it open is what I always say. Um, what we're going to do for January is we're going to start our reading with some major arcanas. I'm sorry, with some oracle cards, major arcanas. Um, we're going to use the Mother Mary deck, and then we're going to use Archangel Raphael. And at the end of the reading, we'll read them, um, but they'll definitely play into your reading. So let's go ahead and begin. A couple shuffles. Everything's already pre shuffled, but I like to shuffle when you're here too. Even though right now I can't seem to shuffle them. There we go. Let's go ahead and give them a cut. Um, January, by the way, is well, actually, 2021 is a five universal year. So remember, five speaks of change, um, flowing with the change gracefully, being willing to make the changes that we need in one's life. Why? Because it'll only lead you towards, um, let's say, bigger and better things. All right, let's go ahead and begin. There we got two. And we're going to take them. We're going to accept them. Actually, we got three. Um, I probably won't read all of these at the end, but we're certainly going to accept them. We have integrity. I trust my ability to know what is true for me. We have God. I step out of the way and surrender any need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and this situation. It's nice to know we have the energy. Okay, this is a lot, but we're going to take them. We have joy. Beautiful. By enjoying this moment, I am giving thanks to God for my life. God is right next to that. God may be asking us to allow a little bit more joy. Remember, it's, it comes from within and devotion. As I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I am clear about what to do next. So, I feel like... Um, this is talking about the changes, um, which perhaps will bring a true sense of joy to your heart and to your life. Um, definitely ask for it, pray for it, <clears throat> and then trust your ability to know when it's time to move into something. All right, let's do Archangel Raphael. Give it a shuffle or two. You're the only sign where this many cards came out of. So integrity, God, joy, and devotion. As I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I am clear about what to do next. Pray for the clarity if you need it. Ask for it, right? Ask for the clarity. got two here. Ask your body for a message. Dear body, please tell me or please help me hear your messages. Archangel Raphael, please guide me in honoring and respecting anybody's needs. Expect a miracle. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for the miraculous intervention in healing energy which has restored the health of, and then you put the name in there. Um, quite beautiful. Expect a miracle. Ask your body for a message. All right, let's bring in the tarot. Um, I 
just did Sagittarius as reading, and they also got God. So that may connect some of you. Let's give these a cut. And let's begin. We have Justice, card of Libra. We have the Strength card, card of Leo. We have the Nine of Wands. Um, I can tell you right now is this is something that I need to overcome, whether it be within myself or my surroundings. You know, first of all, Strength has the Infinity symbol with it and it's looking right up at god so certainly praying or asking for the um the ability to to overcome and not just to overcome but the nine of wands looking at the strength card says you know whatever it is that you overcome with this energy and you know this is going to be through our whole lives um you can turn around and use it for your strength your wisdom justice is about making you feel whole again um, you know, staying in your integrity, even when you don't feel whole, but allowing the healing to take place, you know, if I don't feel whole yet, then strength is about my inner strength, right? This isn't strength. Well, you certainly find it from God, um, and your angels and your guides, but this is also about you finding your own inner strength. And the more you, you feel it, um, I just feel the more growth you have. We have the Princess of Wands. I feel like there may be a few of you who have gone through a divorce um, or cut ties with someone or something, and um, it may have taken a moment, right, to really start to feel whole again, but this is moving you into that energy, especially with the Princess of Wands. She's my go-getter. She's my fool. Um, she's the one who takes chances. She does not deny herself a passionate life. She goes after the things that um, burn in her, right? She is the seeker of joy, and if she seeks it, she shall find it. So I like seeing her. Um, as it relates to a person, the Princess of Wands would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, can be of a younger energy. But nonetheless, I feel like this is about uh, feeling like your internal strength, um, your internal guidance, uh, knowing that, you know, God and the universe are there for you. Um, and in no way, I feel like, should I just stop living? This is about taking chances, knowing that, you know, if something is hard, um, you're stronger than that. You can overcome it. I know there's a lot of things that that could be wrapped up in. But nonetheless, I feel like this is learning about your own ability to overcome. We have the Ten of Wands, so hmm, justice above that. Ten of Wands is a period where um, it can be like heavy responsibilities. You know, the burden is on your shoulder. Uh, the burden could have been on your shoulder. I feel like justice is saying, you have the ability to now cut ties with this Ten of Wands. Um, perhaps, you know, you know, if it's relating to like a relationship, it feels like if it is a relationship, you carried most of the weight of it. And um, I don't know, would you want to continue that? I kind of feel no. Um, right? Because justice wants to, again, make you whole again, wants to balance the scales in your life. But when you get a 10, like the 10 of wands, the 10 of sword, it asks you to, 10 is about the end of that journey. But I have to allow it to be the end of that journey. Um, that journey of the 10 of wands can continue on and on and on and on because it's partly you. Um, maybe it's just a, a part that you feel you had to take. But nonetheless, I'm just telling you, the burdens have been on you. So, I don't know, it doesn't feel fair, almost. We have the Prince of Wands. Mm. 
we have the devil card of capricorn i have to say this is the ability to truly understand and overcome um, anything you feel that has that holds you back that ties you down any and you know it can be substance anything you feel tied to that may not work in your benefit um nine of wands would look right at it right there's no way this person in the nine of wands is going to crumble over it no i'm going to look at it i'm going to figure it out and then i'm going to move on from it ace of cups mm. someone may be taking a chance in love six of wands a card of victory so i uh, right away over this ten of or under this ten of wands um you know whatever this burdensome time in my life I feel like this is the ability to overcome, but not just overcome. This is where um, some of you, you you may be using that exact experiences to in some way help others. This is a period when people are looking up to you. People, um, you know, this is like going through divorce and it's been going on. This is where you are the persuasive one. Um, you know. It's it's a good energy. It's a it's energy of victory. We have the tower. Um, some of you, you know, your hand could have been forged. You know, it's like here's the ten of wands. Here's the ability to look at it. I almost feel like in the Ten of Wands that this person is almost wishing for the tower. Maybe there's something that um, I'm having a hard time of letting go and the tower comes in and takes it in some way. Um, can feel negative, but it's really not. You know, the tower is universal energy and it shows, I don't really want to say this, you know, we recover from the towers. We do. We recover from the towers. Um, but here I do feel like almost like someone wishing that the tower would come in and therefore it does. But yet in the same breath, I even if it's hard energy, I feel like ultimately it's moving you in place. Let's see what comes next to that tower. We have the King of Swords. I have to tell you, this King of Swords has been coming up in a lot of readings. And every time he comes up, he's carrying some tough energy with him. So the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, next to the tower, but also has the energy of the devil above him. We have the Fool. Beautiful. The Fool coming under the Ace of Cups. I have to tell you, some of you um, are about to take a chance in love. Um, this can be brand new. I don't see anywhere where it's saying I have to go back for this love. Now, it can be someone of the past who comes to the table in free and clear type energy. Look at this. We have judgment with the fool. Judgment asks for a rebirth. The fool gives it to him. Judgment says it's time for a new beginning in something. The fool says yes. Judgment reminds you that you don't walk alone on this earth, that you have beautiful guides who walk with you. Um, someone's about to take a chance in love. Well, it's almost like here's the yes card, the two of wands. You know, this is me looking out. You know, here's the ten of wands. And I do feel like it's asking... Um, However, this comes to an end, whether it had to come to a tower moment or not, uh, this is about the willingness to move forward from it. This is looking out at my future and seeing all the possibilities, not the problems, right? This is um, being willing to step on the path of my own destiny, my own desires. There's not anything at the head trying to stop me here. So I do feel like uh, whether I ended the Ten of Wands 
or the universe and it's the Ten of Wands. I feel in the long run, um, I don't know, I feel like you will see the benefit of it. Don't live in it, though, right? Don't live in it. I, and for some reason, I'm feeling if, if someone is like, I have to explain this tower in my life to others, um, maybe to help them in some way, I definitely feel like you will have that ability, right? You'll have that ability to speak from your authentic self. You know, justice for some of you can talk about karmic times. Well, if it's karmic, chances are there's a lesson there. You know, think about karma. Karma is, um, you know, universal energy that says what you do to another, you will experience yourself. Probably in a different way, um, but nonetheless, there's a lesson to be learned, right? So sometimes we have to go through this, this kind of heavy energy of karma, um, but it's to clear it. It's to clear it. And it's to clear it forever, for eternity, not just for this lifetime. So think about that when you're clearing energy, like this is, I'm clearing this, this so my soul can um, better experience life. All right, let's bring in the cosmic tarot. Well, look at what's under the two of wands, the wheel. That's your destiny. So you're moving into a period that you know, if we were in karmic times now, now we're moving in part of our seeds of intention, you know, experiences that our soul um, required or asked for before we came here. So I feel like it moves you into quite beautiful energy. I mean, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Fold, and we have your ancestors saying, this is a time for a rebirth. Maybe um, there hasn't been a lot of joy in your life. Maybe you haven't been devoted to yourself. Um, and this is the ability to look at it in a different way. Integrity again. I trust my ability to know what is true for me. I feel like with the fool, as it relates to love, if I'm about to take a chance, uh, I'm not really putting restrictions on it. You know, uh, I'm in the present moment. The fool is about living in the present moment. Making my decisions moving forward from the present moment, um, which includes the wisdom of the past. But it's allowing me to physically, mentally move on from, let's say, whatever the hardship in it was. You know, it's like getting ready for January. Again, um, Universal Year 5, right? Uh, change, five, grace, changing gracefully. <laughs> All right, let's start at the beginning. You know, I feel like someone has also been praying or asking for um, help to clear some old mental energy. I feel like you're going to receive it. And I feel like it's it's a good thing um, because this mental energy could have been very heavy upon you. So I feel like you're able to clear it. I know that anything that's karmic in your life, you will overcome. You have the ability. If you think that you don't, then you're limiting yourself um, because you do. We have the Five of Pentacles coming over on Justice. So Five of Pentacles, sometimes we feel like our hand has been forced. Um, you know, Five of Pentacles can feel like we've been thrown out in the cold. However, that's looking at one side of it. The other side of the Five of Pentacles is about where it's able now to move you. It moves you into a period where truly your experiences become your empathy, become your compassion. Um, truly, you start to move into a period where soulmate energy is not only available to you, but in many different forms to help you along this path. It moves you into much more balanced, rooted type energy. Tower can be a million different things, but what it's saying is don't lose your integrity while you go through that, that energy. Five of Pentacles can be uncomfortable, um, 
but I don't want to, again, I don't want to keep myself there. Five is about changing gracefully through it. Don't let other people, other people's opinions or other people's ideas keep you back. You know, Five of Pentacles, you're the spirit warrior. You're the wounded warrior. Um, but what it talks about is, you know, even if you're feeling wounded, don't stop. Don't stop moving. Don't stop living. Don't stop creating. That type of thing. Understand that this is about the flow. We have the wheel, right? The wheel is turning. Looking at all the possibilities in my life, even if right this moment I'm feeling a little unsure. Pray about it. You know, joy is right next to God. That's kind of beautiful, right? We have the Empress. We have Justice again coming over the Nine of Wands. So that's perfect energy. First of all, double Libra on the table. Um, but also that is perfect energy. That tells you that you will grow, right? Of all these experiences, justice is making you whole again. Whole enough, let's put it that way, where you move into the Princess of Wands energy. And again, she is my risk taker. Look at this, your seed of intention, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles' first lesson is patience. Waiting till something is developed, right? Um, but trusting that these seeds are of your soul's intention. I feel like it's the soul who plants these seeds before we even come here. You know, you can always plant new seeds, and maybe every day we are. This is about tending to the seed, not demanding it be completely fulfilled until it's ready. So patience is a big part of it. Um, but I feel like in the same breath, coming with the Princess of Wands, it... It feels like this may be the time. I do feel like even some of our hardships um, are seeds of intention. And the reason being is, you know, we came here. This is the learning, um, the learning planet, right? We're here for our soul to learn and evolve. You can only do that through experiences. So... You know, some of us may even come back to help, like, pay off some of the karma that we have collected through our lifetimes. And it's the ability to truly eliminate it. I also feel this is relating to starting something new in love. Um, if you allow yourself, I feel like you'll feel, you know, it's probably soulmate energy. Because, again, the Five of Pentacles says... Soulmate energy is coming your way. Um, you know, I feel like some of you may have lost your mother uh, for whatever the reason. Um, or, you know, this can be a mother who needs a healing and it just feels like it's here. But I feel like if this is someone who's crossed over, it, she's touching God, right? She's touching God. And... What does that bring? It brings pure joy. So that's the energy they're in. Even though we're stuck down here in this, this you know, the, the earthly playground. Um, I don't know. Think about that because, you know, my guides let me feel that even though we feel like this earth, this our lifetime can feel like forever, right? Feel like a long time. It's really a short period of time. And I do feel like there's certain seeds that were planted as a soul and agreed upon as a soul, um, both hard and joyful seeds. It's almost like here is the payoff for going through this, getting through it, and bam, here is something new, something new. Something new. Judgment. A rebirth. We have the Prince of Pentacles coming over the Ten of Wands. Um, could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, could be of a younger time, of an earlier time. 
we have the King of Cups. This could be uh, potentially who the element of what's coming in next because it is the Ace of Cups. Um, so that is the ability to love unconditionally. The King of Cups is the perfect person to talk about love. Um, when this king is in the upright, and he is, this is the element of wanting to be in a relationship. Um, you know, my heart feels more fulfilled. Now listen, I don't have to be in a relationship. This is just wanting to be. This is the ability to open one's heart fully, not just a little bit, but fully. We have the Prince of Wands. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So, Two Pentacles coming over the Ace of Cups. I feel like for those of you where this is um, coming in, and you know who? Well, I feel like if it's someone who truly wants to be in a relationship, look at your future without limit, especially when it comes to love. Don't think that it can never be you, right? Oh, great. They always talk about love coming in, but it's never me. Well, the fool really has no expectations, right? I'll deal with what comes in when it comes in. Two Pentacles tells me this is not something that throws you into a mental state. This is something where you're deciding, do I want it in my life? Um, it's coming from a rooted energy um, and not a so much mental energy. So I like seeing that there. I'm going to come back and look at the people since we got a bunch of people here. But let's continue on first. Let's go down to the bottom line. We have the death card. So. First of all, I like seeing the death card under the Ten of Wands. This is because the death card says, don't resist the changes. Don't resist what probably needs to come to an end. Because what is what wants to open up um, is feels like a true blessing. You know, t the death card says, think about death not in a limited, restricted way, but in Really, death is about a rebirth, right? Here is the rebirth. Um, it's it's you in a new, fresh type of energy, if that's what you choose, right? You got to choose it. Card of Scorpio, also. I feel like there's some Scorpios like, why didn't you say Scorpio? All right, let's look at the tower. Look at that, the chariot coming over the tower. First of all, this is your card. That's good. Um, this says whatever towers that show up in your life, you have the ability to move from it willingly, right? You gotta you gotta want it. Um, the chariot is about finding a true balance within you, the masculine and the feminine, um, understanding that there's all sides to you and just pulling them into balance. So you know, I feel like when the chariot shows up, it's a statement that you're very, cl you're very close to um, taking this chariot anywhere you want. I don't feel like there's a limit on the chariot, but there's a requirement, and that is balance. That is the balance within oneself um, after the tower. So the chariot is after the tower. But your, your life isn't limited here, right? This is truly the ability to take it wherever you want. I mean, I feel like it's unlimited potential. We may have a few who um, could certainly be an older woman with a little bit of a younger man. It doesn't have to be too much younger, um, but maybe that's something you think about, and therefore that's why I brought it up. Eight of Cups. 
Queen of Wands. We're getting a lot of people in this reading. Um, Queen of Wands, potentially a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ten of Wands. Hmm. And the Moon. You know, this feels like to me, even if I can't see a way out, it doesn't mean there isn't a way out. When I can't see the way out, this is when I go within. This is when I ask for help, right? I pray. Um, I talk to my guys. I give, please help bring me clarity over um, what the fool means to you, right? But the one thing is, it's that's here is this ten of wands again. Um, but judgment is below that, so it is definitely, you know, when you can, if you can, which I, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like you can or when it be here, um, but. Maybe I shouldn't even put that out there. Anyways, judgment is asking for that to end um, or understanding that it's coming to an end. Maybe I can't feel like when is it coming to an end, Sandy? Hang in there. Hang in there. Be, but be willing to do your part of moving forward. That's what you're doing here. You're moving forward even if these Ten of Wands are here, right? Um, the moon is card of Pisces also, by the way. <laughs> um, but it is your ruling planet. I kind of feel like when I move into this energy, which again is the Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the Princess of Wands, with the Seven of Pentacles saying, you know, what's coming forward is of your seed and intent of attention. This is about trusting that energy, even if I can't see it. Again, I feel like um, if I look out at my future and all the possibilities, instead of like looking at maybe just focusing on my past and all the restrictions, I can. I feel like I, you can change that energy. All right, let's look at um, right here. We have the Queen of Wands, the Prince of Wands, the Empress. King of Cups and the Prince. So, how do I want to do this? We have the Strength card. Some of you may be throwing a chat out. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if you're throwing them out, but, um, you know, this could certainly be the energy of, you know, even financially taking care of someone and like, I can't do it anymore, right? I can't do it anymore. Um, and, you know, maybe that action alone will somewhat force them to start moving into their true, their true life, right? We have the Four of Wands, and I'm really just taking these over all the people. Four of Wands is about your home. Um, four should be a stable energy. doesn't mean it always is. If it's not, then it asks to look at that, right? To look at that. We have Judgment again. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. King of Wands, wow, a lot of wands, a lot of fire in your in your reading here. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Um, you know, I feel like this is also taking a look at where my energy at, is at relating to the things in my life. I may have come, I, I you know, some of this past energy could have made me myself become more aggressive or be in that type of energy more than than I'm used to, more than um feels right to me. Eight of Wands is the ability to end that, right? Eight of Wands is also what I think about, I bring about. It's like I'm trying to, I want to bring this one seed into my world. Um, you know, the king and the queen here, we, we have, you know, potential partners. We have the king and the prince. Um, who else? We have the empress and the king. 
So I feel like there can be different partnerships of different types, different ages, that type of thing. I definitely feel what you're mainly your reading is saying is even if like I can't see, you know, it's about not trying to see the whole way to the 10, but be willing to start at the two and from the two's energy to create from there, right? Positively, like looking out at all the potential and not the restrictions. You know, if you put a lot of restrictions on yourself, chances are it's come from past energy. It's come from what other people have done for you. But we got to be careful that we don't take on their energy. Um, we got to be able to let go what isn't serving us. If it's not serving us, if it's not helping our soul to evolve, but then what's the point? Are we creating more karma for ourselves that we'll have to pay back later? That type of thing. And that can be good and bad, right? It can be easy and hard. Um, it can be of the light. It can be of the dark. But whatever it is, it is it is about learning the lesson from karma. Um, we may have found ourselves in some karmic relationships and uh, where you truly have taken on the heavy sense of responsibility, and maybe um, maybe you're not meant to, right? Up to a point, up to a point. Cherry is saying, get this energy back in balance, especially yourself, right? Your divine masculine, your divine feminine within you. Um, and I feel like once you do that, once you understand that you have a right to truly have a passionate life and then go after it, I feel like you will have it. But you got to go after it at the same time. You know, I just had to talk with my daughter about a problem she was having. And I said, you know, think about our readings when aces show up. I always say that an ace is the potential. When an ace shows up, it's asking you to reach out for it, right? To accept it, to grab it, and then move into that energy. Um... You know, it can feel like a blessing, but there is a requirement, and that is you reaching out for it. And you reach out for it, you'll have it, right? This is creating right from the present moment. And I feel like, listen, you have beautiful support behind you, um, whether you know it or not. Whether you know, you know, if your beautiful ancestors, uh, the angels, God, all supporting this this time on earth um but i feel like don't stop yourself from experiencing because of the past mm -mm. this is looking at it with a different lens sometimes knowing that okay my soul wanted this lesson um did i learn from it am i able to clear it and if you can say yes i'm telling you you're clearing it for eternity that doesn't mean hard hard times don't show up again but the more that you look at the, um, the gift from it, the easier, if these things show up again, you're able to overcome it. You're able to step over it instead of being dragged through it. You'll see it for what it is. You'll truly see it for what it is. Hmm. Okay, I think, um, I, I kind of feel like at this point, it's now up to you. <laughs> but here is the potential. Here is the wheel. You standing right before that wheel. Um, but, you know, you got to jump on that wheel at the same time. And this is you in a more passionate state. Uh, again, looking positively at the future. Even if I don't know where it's going to end, right? Even if I can't see that 10. I'm still creating it as I go along. So the energy that I put in it will really determine um, where it ends up. Not all things are in our control, though. The things that are not in our control, it's about letting that go. So I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to I'm going to read. I'm not going to read all those cards. There's a lot of the oracle cards, but I am going to read. Um, one or two. Okay. 
Let me just clean this up real quick. <coughs> I think we should read Integrity for sure. Um, let's start with Archangel Raphael. Though. I like to finish with the Mother Mary. And let's read Expect a Miracle. Because I want you to expect a miracle. Especially the energy of God here. This card assures you that a positive health change is occurring as a result of prayer. You know, I've been praying about um, the coronavirus every night. Um, so I hope this is part of that message. Let me start over. This card, is, this card assures you that a positive health change is occurring as a result of prayer, positive thinking, and divine intervention. Your faith is rewarded in an unexpected, the full, unexpected and happy way, joy. It's time to remain positive and release any fear to God and the angels. God is right here to take it. They have heard and answered your prayers. Although the outcome may differ from your expectations, nonetheless, you'll uncover great blessings from this situation. And most of all, Archangel Raphael is helping you to find peace right now for serenity and the greatest foundation of your health. Oh, for serenity is the greatest foundation of your health. Um, possible specific meanings. Contact a prayer group to pray for this situation. Ask Archangel Raphael to boost your faith. Use only positive words and phrases to describe your health. And affirm daily, I am healthy in all ways right now. Beautiful. All right, let's read Integrity. You drew this card because the situation you're asking about involves someone's integ integrity. This card comes as a guidance to pay attention to your body's signals because you can sense whether someone is being honest. Mother Mary is a wonderful role model of gently and lovingly demanding that others live truthfully. You can do the same with, with the people in your life. You can also avoid those who aren't acting with integrity. Either way, trust your gut feeling to steer you towards individuals who tell the truth and who walk their talk. This card also asks you to tell the truth yourself, even if you're uncomfortable with a possible reaction. Prayer can guide your words, give you courage to speak up, and help create a healthy atmosphere of honest communication. I guess it does have to start with us. Um, I want to read Joy. I'm not going to read God just because it was in the last one. I hope that's okay. Mother Mary guides you to enjoy this moment and the next, again, the full, regardless of what you're expecting. As you cultivate the ability to find joy in the present, you pull to you more reasons to be joyful. In every situation, you have opportunities to find blessings. Your happiness inspires others to transform their own sorrow into bliss. You can resolve your current question and situation by choosing the path of joy. What would bring more to it to your heart? What would bring more of it to your heart and soul? Just ask yourself that question. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and I'm going to read God. I feel like I have to. Not that I have to, I feel like I want to. You prayed for help, and now it's time to allow heaven to assist you. God's love and wisdom have always been available to you, provided that you're willing to trust his divine will. Release any unhealed components of your relationship with your creator to Mother Mary and the angels in favor of developing a closer and more trusting one. This may require tremendous faith on your part, especially if you can't see a solution to your present situation on the horizon. 
This card indicates that you've been approaching this, this situation single-handedly, trying to anticipate and control the outcome by yourself. Anxiety comes from disrupt, I'm sorry, anxiety comes from distrust in divine order and timing, along with disappointment when other people don't follow your plans. Surrender your, surrender, I'm sorry, surrendering your need to be the script writer helps you relax and actually get better results. God has room to heal you and this situation when you allow him to be in charge. Okay. And let's finish with devotion. This card reminds you to stick with what you believe and not to waver from your values. If someone or something tempts you away from your basic core beliefs, pray for the strength to say no. Don't go chasing illusions of more money or love when everything you need and desire is available to, available to you now if you simply recommit to what is right for you. What is important to you? That is the answer you seek. Spend time in prayerful communication with God and pour your heart out to him about your feelings, including any fears or doubts. God and Mother Mary love you unconditionally and are here for you right now. Pray for clarity about your true priorities, values, and beliefs, and then base your decisions upon this solid foundation. Commit to your beliefs and devote yourself to God and everything else will take care of itself. Beautiful. Well, Cancer, you got a lot of oracle cards, but that, it seems to be important. It seems to be, you know, it seems that's what you needed. So I'm happy to deliver. Um, and, you know, when I get to this point in the reading, I'm always thinking, what do I want to title this? But I have so many different titles in my name. We'll see. Anyways, I want to thank you, as always, for being a part of my channel. I am so grateful for each and every one of you, truly. Um, and I just thank you for all that you have done for me, the love that you've given me. Um, it's truly what makes me just want to, you know, that's why I love doing your readings because I know that you appreciate it. I feel it. Um, and I love your comments, just love your comments. So thank you. Keep them coming on. Um, even the questions I, you know, if I don't answer them in comments, I try to answer them in future videos. So, um, you know, I often feel like these videos, yes, they're for cancer, but I feel like if you're intuitively guided here, then there's a reason. So just being open to the, the message. Um, stay within your integrity. Find the joy of the present moment. Devote yourself to, you know, yourself also. And um, expect a miracle. How can that be bad? I love you guys. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.